Hi everybody, it's Tina Shaw and I'm here with card number two for the week of May the 11th, 2020. This one is a super cute card. I love the birds. I use the Free as a Bird stamp set and I also use the Bird Ballad Designer Series paper which is how I cut out the little bird. You're going to fussy cut that. And then this is um, a piece of the designer series paper too, which I absolutely think is beautiful. So um, and then here's the inside. So let's get started on this card. So here's my card base, which is white. I'm gonna use my bone folder to get that to lay down flat. First layer is black. Second layer is the um, beautiful designer series paper. And I'm going to go ahead and adhere this to the black piece. Again, I only have an eighth of an inch like I did on the first card this week. Just for a little pop of definition when this goes on the white piece. You can, it just shows it up. Somehow it just frames it just perfectly. Okay, then these were cut out with the stitched... Um, shapes, framelits, the ovals. This one is the largest. This one, I think it's the next largest. I'm not sure. Anyhow, um, I cut one out in white, and then this is the beautiful vellum paper that comes in the 12 by 12 pack. It's called Perennial Essence. It goes with the Perennial Essence set, but it's just gorgeous. You could use it with any other card set. You've got um, yellow. It doesn't even say what that is. Any yellow. It looks kind of like curry maybe. And then the uh, petal pink. And then this looks like, um, I'm not sure if that's uh, old olive maybe. Probably. So anyhow, that's what I used to cut that out with. And so I'm going to set that aside for a minute and I'm going to stamp on my oval and I'm going to use black memento ink pad and this says your friendship means the world to me which I think is super super nice so I'm just inking this up and I want this down towards the bottom half like that okay and then I'm going to take this piece and I did pop Pop that one up and I glued the bottom one down. Okay, so I pop this one up with my regular size dimensionals. And I just put those like right down the middle because as you can see, I kind of put these in at the corners. So I'm going to take my back off. And then I'm going to put this onto here. Just a pretty little frame, which is nice because it's translucent. You know, you can see through that. Okay, so now on this one, I'm going to just use some adhesive on the back. And that is what I did. I didn't use a dimensional. Okay, so then I just put this about right like that. Then you're going to fussy cut your little bird, and oh my goodness, there are so many birds to cut out if you wanted to. Aren't they, isn't it just beautiful? This is just the most gorgeous paper. I just love, love it. So anyway, I fussy cut the bird already just so it wouldn't take up extra time. So I'm going to put a dimensional behind the bird. He's kind of looking back the other way. <laughs> so there he is, right on the edge. And then again, I used the little leaf punch and I punched out two in the mossy meadow. And then I cut out using the sprig punch in the petal pink. And so I used my silicone mat. 
And again, just ink these or inked. Put the tape on these. And then I just put that up through there like that. And then I'm gonna take this pretty one. I just love this color. I think I say that every week. <laughs> it's become one of my faves. And so then I'm just gonna put that like right over top of it. So then I'm gonna do the same thing. The top part. Just lift it up a little bit. Put it in there. Tape on this. Put it in here as well. There, like that. And then I did this darling bow. Love, love, love. My favorite ribbon, again, is the Petal Pink um, Organdy Striped Ribbon. I just think I like it so much because it makes just darling little bows. I love them. So, I'm going to get my bow maker. And I'm going to use the smallest um, size here. And so just tying this around. And then again, remember to pull it pretty tight so it doesn't slip out when you take it off. So pull it tight, slide it off. And here's the cutest little bow. Oh my gosh. So I'm going to take Take a pick tool. And I'm going to grab my glue dots. And I'm going to put I'm going to put two on here, just because I don't want it to fall off. Okay, so I've got two on there. And I'm going to try to pull these. Whoops! I mean, I pulled it all right. <laughs> Tried to kill it. Okay, so then. Put it right under the bird. Okay, and then I'm going to trim the tails. Sometimes I actually take a little, either a glue dot or some adhesive and put it under here just to keep this down. There we go. That works for me. Then if you have the champagne rhinestone basic jewels, I did not put jewels in your kits this week, so hopefully you have some jewels that you can use. Um, you can just use the basic rhinestones if you want to. You can always color them with um, uh, the blends if you want, or you can just use them clear. But there, that's the front. So then I'm going to take this and I'm going to put this onto the front of the card. Again, I like to use glue. Like that. And then I'm just going to adhere this down here onto the front, make sure I have it the right way. I've been known to do it backwards, upside down. <laughs> so make sure, okay. And then just rub that, kind of mess up my bow a bit. Okay, so then on my inside, since my card was white, I just stamped directly on the card. So, um, the outside, of course, says, your friendship means the world to me. So then on the inside, um, on the uh, this one I put, thank, thanks for being you. You could also do, hmm, we're the best of friends. Something just fell down back there. But I think I'm just going to do the same one again. Because it's ready to go. That 
and then I just took the leaf stamp that's out of the same same set right there and I used the mossy meadow stamp pad that one I put the leaf up there you could also do it down here you could do it up here so there's just a little different way and that's got a little piece of glue or something stuck on it here or maybe ink let's see if my ink eraser And there's our second card. I think it's just darling. I just love the little birds. Sorry, Tammy Spradlin. I know she just doesn't like birds, but I just think they're darling. And oh, and then of course I shared the goose video on Facebook, and <laughs> I think it just reminded her of a big bird. So y'all have to look that up on my Facebook page. Um, it was trying to attack a woman <laughs> in a parking lot. Anyhow, second card. Um, this one I'm calling Free as a Bird card. And um, there you have it. Let me know if you like this one. And I will be back soon with directions for card number three. All right. Have a good night. Bye.